Hello, freak bitches. Welcome back to the Joe Rogan Experience. Today, we have a very special guest, astrophysicist and science communicator, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Neil, how are you doing today? Joe, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on the show. It's an honor to have you here, man. I'm a huge fan of your work. So, let's talk about astrophysics. What's been going on in the universe lately? Well, there's been a lot happening lately. We've discovered new planets, uh, black holes, and even gravitational waves. But, Joe, before we get started, I can't help but notice the elephant in the room. Elephant? I don't see any elephant here. Joe, the elephant in the room is a common metaphor used to describe something that everyone is aware of, but no one is talking about. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to show me some kind of weird experiment or something. <laughs> no, Joe. Just, um, a figure of speech. <laughs> Got it. So, tell me more about these black holes. Are they really as scary as they sound? Well, black holes are one of the most fascinating objects in the universe. They have an intense gravitational pull that can even warp the fabric of space and time. But, Joe, we can't ignore the elephant in the room. Neil, I thought we already went over this. There's no elephant in the room. It's just a metaphor. Yes, Joe, but there's actually an elephant in the room. What do you mean there's an elephant in the room, Neil? I don't see any elephants. That's because it's behind you, Joe. Turn around. Ha! <laughs> there's nothing there. Man, Neil, are you sure you haven't taken anything before coming on the show today? Huh. What do you mean, Joe? Well, you keep talking about this elephant in the room, but I don't see anything. It's like you're tripping or something. Trust me, Joe. I'm not on anything. There really is an elephant in the room. Uh-huh. Sure, Neil. I haven't even handed out the DMT yet. DMT? No thanks, Joe. I think the elephant is enough of a trip for me. Neil, there's nothing here, man. How would an elephant even get in here anyway? I have no idea, Joe. Maybe it wandered in from the zoo. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's get back to astrophysics before I lose my mind. Sounds good to me, Joe. But don't forget the elephant in the room. For the last time, man, there's nothing. <coughs> Holy sh there's actually an elephant in the room. Huh. I told you, Joe. I told you. How did that even get in here? I swear to you, man, I, I did not even see it before. I have no idea, Joe. From my perspective, it's been here the entire time. Maybe, and this is just a theory, it was zapped in from the multiverse, and maybe you existed in a different plane of existence apart from me, localized entirely in the location your chair is. <laughs> well, now that we have a literal elephant in the room, and we both see it, let's just get back to astrophysics. Tell me more about this multiverse thing. Sounds good to me, Joe. But let's never again forget the elephant in the room. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely won't forget about that. Tell you what, let's take a break and then we can talk about the multiverse. I need to recompose myself. Plus, it's really starting to smell like elephant in here. We'll be right back, folks. Oh, God, I think it just peed on the floor.